Hi everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here again, and today we are doing Lesson 3.1 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 3.1 is about multiplying by tens, and we are now into the chapter where we are multiplying two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. So no more multiplying by just a one-digit number. We're going to multiply by big numbers. But the good news is that you already have learned these properties of multiplication in Chapter 2. Now we're just doing it with bigger numbers. So this first lesson is teaching you four different ways of how to multiply these bigger numbers. The first way here for one way is to multiply using place value. And this is kind of basically, you can boil this down to using your basic facts and then adding your zeros. So if you have 20 times 30, the basic fact in there would be 2 times 3, which is 6, and then add your zeros, 1, 0, 2, 0. So you get the answer 600. This is my favorite way to multiply. It's the easiest way to remember, and it works really well if your numbers end in zeros. So if you have the choice, always choose this basic fact way or using place value. The second way to multiply bigger numbers is using the associative property. In the associative property, we know we're going to see some parentheses when we have the associative property. And all you have to do for this one is just put two numbers into parentheses. So what they're going to do is say they had the problem 20 times 30, so same problem that we did above. And they're going to take this 30 and they're going to break it up into a smaller multiplication problem and put it in the parentheses. So we are going to change it to 20 times, and then they broke the 30 up into 3 times 10, because they know 3 times 10 is 30. So then they're going to move those parentheses to first do 20 times 3. 20 times 3 is 60. And then we still need to multiply that by the 10. But multiplying by 10 is really easy, because all we do is add a 0 to our answer. So you still get 600. So that's the associative property. Then they have two more, oops, wrong, wrong thing. Let me move stuff just a second. Um, then they have, whoa, that's not what I want. Okay, the other two ways to multiply big numbers that we're learning in this lesson are by using a number line. We'll go over that one first, and then the halving and doubling. So both these strategies we learned in Chapter 2. Same thing here, just with bigger numbers. So now we're going to do the problem 15 times 20. And to do that on a number line, we can first break that down to 15 times 2. So we'll do 15 hops of two spaces. And that makes us land on 30. And then, we, since we don't just have 15 times 2, we have 15 times 20. All they're doing here is adding a 0 to the ends of each of our numbers. So we go from 2 to 20, 4 to 40, 6 to 60. Because all you do is add a 0 to the end. It's like basic fact. So then here, without even doing these 15 hops, I know it's still going to be my 30 with my extra 0 added on. So 300 is my answer for that. That is multiplying using a number line. And then we have the having and doubling strategy. So they are giving us the problem 14 times 30. In order to do having and doubling, we first start with a having. So we take our first number 14, and we're going to cut it in half, which gives us a 7. And so we'll do the 7 times the 30 instead of the 14 times the 30. 7 times 30, my basic fact gives me 21, and then I add my 0. So 7 times 30 is 210. So I've done the halving part, cut my first number in half and multiplied. Now I have to take my answer and double it. So 210 times 2 is 420. 
So the complete answer for 14 times 30 is 420. So that's the having and doubling strategy. But remember, like I said, if you can, the easiest way to do it is just the basic fact and add your zeros. All right, hope this helps. That's lesson 3.1 in fourth grade Florida Go Math. Thanks.